Hello guys, it's me again, Joe, and as promised, on this day, I'm finally finishing up that Q&A video that I did. So, of course, I left the people that left it some questions, it was a decent amount to go through, so it's time for me to finish this. So, I'm gonna start from the top all the way down to the bottom. So. First up, the first question I got was from General Joseph D, saying, Who is your favorite Star Wars character? Well, I have to admit, there's actually a decent amount of Star Wars characters. Like, like, like for mainly for heroes, I like the like Skywalker. I also like Han So, um, I also like, of course, c 3 p and rg d 2 Chewbacca, Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's another one. For some villains, it's mainly Dark Sidious and or the Emperor and Darth Fatal. Pretty good ones. I mean... Yoda! Don't forget about Yoda. Oh, no. He's pretty great. But... but we're gonna be followed up by the next question, which is, of course, which ironically, yeah, it's from Dino King, in 213, being the following questions. Do you like Star Wars? What is your favorite DreamWorks movie? And what's your favorite non Godzilla kaiju? Well, for my favorite Star Wars mo I do I do like Star Wars in general. I normally but I don't, but mainly I only watch the movies. I didn't exactly watch that much of the clone Wars. like oh well, I mean I didn't really watch that much of the Clone Wars except for like one episode. episode. As for my favorite DreamWorks movie, oh, those plenty. I mean, there's Shrek, Comes with Panda, How to Train Your Dragon, a few, a few of those. But I think those are like the big three. The I like the most. Now, of course, the most interesting question is, what's my favorite non-kaiju? Who isn't Uji? Well, so, oh. My favorite kaiju would be Zor Magdaros, Xenojiva slash Safi Jiva, Soros Valda, the Black Dragon, such as Fatalus, and Altrion, and the new Serpent Duo. However, if video game monsters do not count and has to be specifically film, then I guess I'll say in we're not counting the big the other members of the of Toho's Big Five, then I'll pick King Kong, but if you're not going to count King Kong, then I'm going to say that Rudy from Ice Age 3 would be my favorite kaiju, if it gone through all of that, and that's a specific order. Anyways, now from the monkey. Key? Yes. What is your favorite franchise? Well, monkey, um, uh, I actually like a lot, I mean. I like Kirby and Toho. I also, of course, enjoy Mario. Oh, since I don't think Smash Bros. would count, you know. Oh, I enjoy Pokemon a decent amount. I also like fossil files. I like basically any di any dinosaur game. It, you know those combat ones like Battle Giant Dinosaurs, Fossil Files, Dinosaur King. Yeah, I really like those. And of course, you know. I Disney's fine, you know. DreamWorks is pretty cool. Marvel's cool as well. Oh, so yeah. There's a lot of franchises we can go through, but I think we'll just take forever. There's a lot, but yeah. Now for the cult is being questions. What are your thoughts on Gamma? What's the first Godzilla film you ever watched? And do you like Gamma? Well, I actually didn't watch a Gamma. I know, it's odd, but, well, don't be too bad, because, you know, I would probably compel it to, like, it was the Marvel DC for, for Japanese She will be like, eh, I won't, won't, won't judge of which one you like a bet, uh, you know, the giant radioactive lizards or the giant explained, so, uh, you can just, right. now, first got Godzilla film, surprisingly, no, it's not the 1998 movie, it was actually the Monster Bros. 2014 movie. Yeah, that was the first one. one. Like, you know, it, it actually But damn, I'm, I'm realizing that, yeah, the 2014 movie's pretty old. 
kind of sorable, with like seven heals, I think. And for Raiden, eh, I'm not really the biggest Weedle. Weedle. I'm not person to normally read books that often. But yeah. Anyways, for Ancient Robots, ma'am. Which I might have butchered. I don't think he listed the games, but the idea is saying, like, what's your favorite game? Were you ever do a collaboration with another YouTuber? And what would you want to do if you had 5,000 subscribers by way of scratch? What's my favorite game? Well, that's hard. i just go through, because I'm just thinking of something that this is a board game, which I'm gonna say King of Tokyo. Because I played it in school, and it's that kaiju based game. King of all those mo. So it's actually pretty. F Fun. Fun. Also, sorry, would have been all right, you know. Since hey, you said game and not video game, which I just wanted to quickly mention. If it was video game, then I'll probably take way too long. For collaborations, I like. I'm not sure if that's gonna exactly happen. If I'm lucky, I could get Spino into the wing, but uh, you could take it up to judge. As for, yeah, I doubt, I doubt I'll be even getting to, I'll be, I mean, I'll be lucky if I even get to 1,000 subscribers. And then, you know, I just got to 100, and I was like, I don't know if I'll be able to get that good yet. I mean, I was lucky that one video did a massive hit, but that was an AMV. If I did get to, I was, I'm not gonna... I may plan at least for another Q&A, but don't expect the Q&A to be any time soon. Even to be on. Nist. Nist. Anyways, as we get to the next question, Red being, Do you know the Godzilla NES Creepypasta? And if you do, could Red beat Legendary Vigoji? The Monster Bus one. Well, I have to say, a and for someone who, of course, knows about Five Nights at Freddy's and watched plenty of game through videos, videos about those infinite this whole indie games, Capel, it's I could definitely say, well, thanks to YouTube, me. Really? Well, I didn't read the original script that was probably still up on the website. But it's simply the fact that, yeah, it's a whole story, no jump skills, just imagery that spoke to. Thing, but also gets to see book sequences where it was calm before the storm comes. Literally, literally, the series is basically equivalent to reading a book, but it's not a book. So for the original story, I have to, I have to say I do respect it similar to the way how I respect the Four Nights at Freddy's series, which I do respect the interest in long dark lore that still keeps itself relevant with new ideas. You know, it would have been interesting if we got more or, or stories like or, or like those. As for who would win, well, well we have we'll a couple of questions. Okay, for a being that does a one shot move, if we're not counting the boss fight, compelled to a creature that literally blows up the uh, of just of one single atomic breath. And that's not counting the fact that Burnin Mode for, Go for Monster Vs. Goji could do extreme damage as we saw against King Ghidorah and King of the Monsters. Which is ironic since this is actually the year where King of Monsters gets to be two years old. So, the real crest and is, is. It's not could Red beat Legendary? It's could Legendary beat Red? Because that's the obviously real question. Anyways, Sergio and his doodles. The question is, what is your inspiration to make videos? Well, ironically, unlike what most people would say, I don't exactly have inspiration. Unless you want to really count my brother. Like the only real exception is like my brother, because he was making videos back then. In fact, one time I sort of like raided. Is old account by making a video or two. If I remember, yeah, it was a Halloween Dragon Tour themed one. 
So yeah, it was my brother. It wasn't any YouTuber in specific, unless it was like for a certain video type, but those are long went. But yeah. We're slowly gonna get to another part being from Blue Sleeve Stark. Where's your favorite go? Legendary Sin Final Wars oh, for Singularity Port. I'm gonna have to remove mostly Sin Final Wars and Singularity Port since I haven't watched those, so I can only count Earth and Legendary and compel to the to the giant plant paw to Monster Vs. Uh, I'll say Monster Vs, but that's probably because of the start of 2014. And also because, yeah, he's actually really cool in the later movies. Like, seriously, in the newest movie, when I mean, Godzilla fights Kong, like, like the sequence where he basically pulls, like, a T-Grex Kong near the final part of the fight. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. And so, yeah, now for the next question. Yeah, the next question is, what is your favorite movie, your favorite dinosaur film you watch, and your favorite YouTuber from Tap Speed Does Stuff? Well, all favorite movies gonna be kind of convoluted, but since he's not counting dinosaur movies, some of the movies I mentioned like Star Wars, the MCU movies like Avengers or Avengers Endgame, and a few others would also count. You know, again, the Monster Bus movies as well. I don't exactly, because if I had a favorite movie in general, that would be a little bit too hard to describe, since, like, there's a lot of options, and, or, like, a decent amount of, of movies, movies, so I can't exactly put, a, like, a favorite favorite, exactly, but for favorite dinosaur film, I'm probably simply gonna say, my favorite dinosaur film would either have to be the original Lamb of Time, or the Jurassic Park movie, or Jurassic World movie. I may even throw Disney's dinosaur into the wing thing as well. As for Godzilla 2021, do you like Godzilla vs. Kong and do you own any dinosaur figures? Again, I like the newest Monster vs. move. It's pretty c cool. Um, if you still haven't watched it, you can still do it now. Oh, because I'm not going to get any more spore. Hotel, hotel, three. And I, yes, I own plenty of dinosaur figures. Mostly the Jurassic World line when Fallen Kingdom came out. Anyways. The real cute composed question is what's your favorite video game? Well, there's a lot of options I could say. I could simply say if that does a decent amount. Again, Toho, Kobe, Monster Hunt. Until Mario, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, like, the list would just go on. And Fox Files Champion, Snowblade 2, it's like, at this point, it's like, you're making me would take for to go through each one, but basically, there's a list of favorite video games. And nonetheless, we still aren't done yet, but we are getting to the close halfway mark, if not more simple. Because the fact is, things can get pretty busy around here. But yeah. For Bone G, 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 what's your favorite for Godzilla movie? It's probably 2014 because it's the first one I watched. Yeah, it's probably nostalgia. Oh, to put this. Is even if you only. I mean, that's the reason why Endom was sort of inspired by Mutos, because I was like, that's a reference to the first movie I watched. If you. Didn't know from that one video. As from the good old classic big list to themselves, did he uh, and even that of yours. What's your favorite? So besides Goji and your favorite tour. Unfortunately, I do not have any neck Goji fake books. Unfortunately, not one of them. I don't even know when the single neck go. If we're gonna, but yeah, just like before, if we're gonna count to my favorite. Guide you, Monty's. I'll include the rest of the big five of the nail, and I'll probably also include the Mutos and even the Skullcrawler Veil. It'll also Kong. 
is for favorite tour. Unfortunately, again, I can't answer that. But I couldn't answer that tour request in right off the bat. But when I was like very young, I actually did play with Godzilla Tori. But I didn't even know his name, so I just mistaked it as a dinosaur, which, uh, it's fair enough. Oh, like, I was, like, very young, it was, like, young, so, yeah. Whatever I played it, which I probably haven't fully remembered, it is that one. For Julius Chavis, the question is, have you played Pokemon Go? Yes, I did. It was alright. I still prefer JJ, I still prefer Jurassic World Alive and FNAF AR, in my opinion. Again, it's all why I, I activated the conversation with the beginning of those type of app games. And of course, we get to the final question from Sado being, what's your favorite color? Well, I will say my favorite color is rainbow, but if you are going to be considering rainbow as cheating, then I will say purple is my favorite color. And with that, that's all the questions from the Q&A taken care of. Vev and done. It's actually, it was pretty decent. So nonetheless. Anyways, I have all the stuff to do, and I have a few other videos planned in the future. But nonetheless, have a great and amazing day. And I'll see you guys next time.